Thank you for joining us and learning how to create a primary user profile in MyPath. Primary user profiles are designed for those individuals who own the tax ID number, such as the taxpayer themselves who own their social security number or the business owner who owns the EIN. If you are a third party who manages tax accounts on someone's behalf, please see our video on creating a third party user profile. To get started, you will need to visit mypath.pa.gov, which will take you directly to the MyPath homepage. Creating a user profile is done by locating the black login box near the top of the screen and clicking on the sign up hyperlink. From here, you will see a screen that displays what transactions can be completed without creating a user profile. If you scroll down, you'll see the additional functionality that is available by establishing your profile and what criteria is needed to successfully complete the process. To continue creating your profile, click the Sign Up for MyPath or Next button at the bottom of the screen. You will then be taken to the Electronic Correspondence and Communications Agreement page. Read through the list of terms, conditions, and certifications. Once finished, Click the checkbox confirming that you agree and select the next button to proceed. Here, you'll be required to fill in your profile information. This includes your email, a self-created username and password, as well as a phone number. In the identification panel, it will ask if you are a third party tax professional to which you will need to select No. Upon selecting No, you will need to choose your identification type. This includes your Federal Employer ID, Revenue ID, PATH ID, or Social Security number. Selecting the appropriate ID number, as well as entering the corresponding name, will allow the system to link to your tax accounts. On the next screen, you will need to select the account type that you are trying to access. This is the tax account associated with the ID number that you provided. If you have more than one tax account associated with your ID, select one type and complete the requested validation. If you are unable to validate by providing a letter ID, online business registration confirmation number, payment amount, or return line item associated with the tax account, you will need to request an access letter be mailed to you. Once you have entered the appropriate information, you can opt in for electronic mail delivery if you would like and select Submit. Upon submission, you will be taken to a confirmation screen where you will need to click OK to be routed back to the home page. You will then need to log in using the credentials that you just established to complete your profile. After entering the username and password and clicking Login, you will need to select a way to complete your two-step verification, which can be done through an authentication app, a text message, or an email. For the purpose of this video, we are going to select Text Message. You will need to click the hyperlink to add a phone or enter the phone number to which you want the confirmation code sent. The text message should be received within a few minutes of the request. This does not need to match the original phone number entered upon creating the user profile. Upon receiving your code, you will need to enter it into the security code field. If you did not receive your text, you have the option to click resend and try again. Once you've entered the code, click confirm to continue. At this point, you will need to enter the remaining profile information, including your first and last name, as well as your secret question. Additionally, you have the option to add a second phone number to your account or set up due date reminders for certain taxes, but this is not required to complete setup. Once finished, click Save. Finally, you will arrive at your customer springboard in MyPath. You will see the tax account that you validated upon creating your profile. If you have additional taxes associated with your ID number, you will need to select the option to add access to each tax account in order to perform additional functions associated with those taxes. 
please refer to our other Revenue 411 videos to learn how to complete many different logged in transactions via MyPath.